for a spontaneous cell reaction, what are the anode, cathode, and cell voltage for a magnesium half cell combined with a nickel half cell? The first thing we need to do is look up the reduction half reactions for both of these half cells. We find that the magnesium half reaction has a reduction half reaction potential of negative 2.37. The nickel half reaction has a reduction half reaction potential of negative 0.25. Now you can look up these half reactions in a table such as this one. This is an abbreviated list of some reduction half reactions. Now notice all of these half reactions are written in their reduction form where the reactants gain electrons. It's important to note that and the potentials are associated with those reduction reactions. The more positive the voltage, the more spontaneous the reduction reaction. Negative E reduction potentials imply a non-spontaneous reduction, so therefore these half reactions are likely to be oxidation half reactions. So the lower the potential, the more likely the reaction will be an oxidation half reaction. The higher the potential, the more likely the reaction will be a reduction reaction. So we can conclude that the magnesium half reaction will in fact become an oxidation half reaction. The nickel half reaction will be the reduction half reaction. Oxidation occurs at the anode of an electrochemical cell and reduction occurs at the cathode of an electrochemical cell. Notice when we re reverse the equation for the magnesium, we did not reverse the sign of the voltage. That is because when we apply these voltages to an equation to figure out E cell, we enter these cell voltages in their reduction values. The spontaneous cell reaction is the magnesium oxidation half reaction combined with the nickel reduction half reaction. We could add these two half reactions as is because they are mass balance and charge balance already. And here's the complete reduction oxidation reaction or cell reaction. The cell voltage is calculated as follows. E cathode minus E anode. And these voltages are entered as reduction half reaction values. So E cathode is negative 0.250. E anode is negative 2.370. And the cell voltage is positive 2.10. A positive cell voltage implies a spontaneous reaction. In this example, we're asked to consider the copper and aluminum half reactions. Same question. For a spontaneous cell reaction, what are the anode cathode reactions and the cell voltage? First, we look up the E reduction for both of these half cells. Copper is a positive 0.337 volts and the aluminum half reaction for reduction is negative 1.660. This means that the anode half reaction where oxidation occurs is associated with the aluminum half reaction. The cathode half reaction where copper is being reduced to copper solid. To balance the combined half reactions into a composite equation we need to balance the electrons being transferred. So we multiply the aluminum half reaction by 2 and the copper half reaction by 3. Combining both half reactions, six electrons are transferred, they cancel, and we're left with the overall redox cell reaction. The cell voltage is E cathode, which is positive 0.337, minus E anode, which is negative 0.1160, giving us a positive cell voltage of 1.997. Here is another application of standard reduction potentials. Here we're asked to predict if a reaction will occur, cadmium metal is placed into one molar aqueous hydrogen ion solution. Now one molar solution implies standard conditions. So these half reaction cell potentials are for standard conditions. The standard reduction potential for, the, for hydrogen is zero. The standard reduction potential for the cadmium is negative 0.403. Therefore the cadmium half reaction is associated with the oxidation or the anode. And the cathode half reaction is that of hydrogen. Combining these two half cells, we have the overall cell reaction. And we see that, in fact, cadmium will react 
with hydrogen ion to form cadmium ion in a spontaneous reaction because the overall cell voltage is positive 0.403.